mission, I'ma get it, you know I be on the way Never beat, I've been down and I reappear You got some money on the line, you better put it here Rolling in and doing that work Check priorities, I'm doing that first them Checks big and I'm sure that that hurts But it's checkmate, we ain't selling short, no the work Ain't nowhere to hide You ain't gotta see me come and keep me on your mind Cause I be on the way Over everything huh. It's that comeback I'm calling plays Hit the past and the run back yeah. I'm far ahead and gotta run laps But we ain't letting up We never done that Ain't nowhere to hide You ain't gotta see me come And keep me on your mind Cause I be on the way Well, first of all, thanks everybody for coming. Thank you very much for coming. Abigail and Zach will be very, very like, made up that you've all, you've all made it. This is my first attempt at this type of thing. By the time Amy and Emily, whoever gets married last of those two, I'll be an old sweat at it. I'll sit, be, be sitting in the chair, my tie will be off, and I'll just be like, yeah, they just here's my speech. But uh, this is my first one, so I'm a bit nervous. You'll have to bear with me a little bit. I'm going to rewind the clock now to, uh, oh, crikey, would it be nine years ago? I've met this lad. His name's Zach. Now, she brings him round. He wasn't exactly the chatterbox, <laughs> but uh, he, he, he was rather shy. Now, I don't know if anyone knows Caroline, but she's uh, a clever, highly trained, <laughs> intense, almost forensically talented interrogator. This poor lad was thrust into our house she might as well have turned all the lights off in the, in, the, in the kitchen, put a spotlight on him and started questioning him within 10 minutes. She had his life story, she knew who he was, where he was from. Turns out Zach's granddad Aubrey, my dad Errol, were very good friends. So I thought, well, if he's, you know, if he's related to Aubrey, then he's all right. Sorry, getting a bit touched. I promised I wouldn't, but there's a bit of grit flying around and it got me in the eye. When I say to both of you, Abigail first and then later Zach, it's been an honour and a privilege to watch you both grow up. So, <clears throat> it really has, it really has. Hello everybody, thank you for coming. Uh, I'm very jealous of all of you because you get to sit here and look at the star of the show, me. <laughs> Obviously I'm joking, my beautiful bride is the star of the show, doesn't she look gorgeous? <laughs> Now I'd like to thank both Caroline and Dennis for raising an amazing person and the best mum to Blakely. Uh, but also you're welcome because she's officially my problem. <laughs> thank you to everyone who has travelled so far to be here. Quite often you'll find grooms standing up here saying how when they first met their partner they knew it would be the person that they were going to marry. But when I first met Abby she was 13 so I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> but. Who would have thought that here we'd be 12 years later with some of the best memories I could ask for and Blakely agreeing to spend the rest of our lives together. So I'd like everybody to raise a glass to my beautiful wife. Bravi. Yeah.